Prime Minister Prime Minister Nicole Pashinyan will pay a working visit to France from Thursday to Saturday. In Paris, he will attend the wake and funeral of the world-renowned Armenian chansonnier Charles Aznavour. The legendary French Armenian singer passed away Monday, age 94, in his house in southern France and of natural causes. With its decisions on Thursday, the government of Armenia has dismissed five provincial governors representing the ARF Tashnak Tsutyun and prosperous Armenia parties. A day earlier, the ministers representing these political forces were sacked. In addition, it was revealed that MP Felix Tsolakian will soon be appointed Minister of Emergency Situations. Yes, I have received such a proposal, he told News AM. I have accepted it. The National Assembly on Friday will convene a special session to discuss making an addition to the law on holidays and memorial days in Armenia. Speaking during the government session on Thursday, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan noted that the days of La Francophonie will kick off in the country on Sunday, and therefore October the 11th and 12th will be needed to be declared non-working days. And to do this, as per the Prime Minister, an amendment should be made to the aforementioned law. The cabinet debated also on the draft decision with respect to declaring amnesty in Armenia. However, the matter was discussed behind closed doors, since it would be conferred on behind closed doors also at the meeting of the respective committee of the National Assembly. Denmark has finalized the ratification procedure of the Armenia-EU Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement. The Armenian Embassy to Denmark and Norway informed in a statement. With the note verbal dated September 19th addressed to the EU leadership, the Kingdom of Denmark finalized the ratification procedure of the Armenia-EU Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement. The statement reads. Armenia will never agree to Azerbaijan's membership in the CSTO, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said in Parliament on Wednesday. Pashinyan stressed that Armenia has a clear position on the matter and he has repeatedly voiced it. Such matters are resolved through consensus. It is natural that in the current political and political situation and given the existing relations, it is senseless to talk about it, since Armenia will never give its consent to involve a country which is shelling our settlements as a member or even an observer in our main military and political organization, the Prime Minister assured. Pashinyan also emphasized that a direct communication had not been established yet with the Azerbaijani president, but work in this direction is underway, he added.